Following on from Canada's victory tour and two matches against the Olympic gold medalists, the football ferns are together once again, this time for another two fixtures in South Korea's northwest. Chance for New Zealand to shift the focus of the attack. First the right, now the left wing side. Korea have adjusted well, that one into the area. Danger times and a shot on goal just goes high of that crossbar. That was uh, the best opportunity of the match so far. Gee, she would have she would have fancied herself on that one, Rhea, as well. That shadow just creeping a little further. Leet stays, and at the far post, a free header off the top of the crossbar. And I wonder if Annalit's defenders thought she may have come for that. It's just taken the momentum out of the move. They've got to three players in the penalty area. Opportunity to cross, though, may have gone. Now it's Dinkton towards the penalty spot. It's a great goal! Jackie Han with a brilliant touch, and that is superb from New Zealand. The Ford Football Ferns will play from in front. What a great, fantastic goal. What a fantastic ball from Ali Riley. Great run from Jackie Han. What a finish that is from... Jackie Hand coming in from the right-hand side. Great pace on the cross, too, from Ali Riley. All it needed was to be directed on a goal. And Jackie Hand with her first goal in a football fern shirt. Amazing. Fantastic for her. Riley, they've got around the back of the New Zealand skipper. Riley goes down, Korea go on, and Elite at the near post. It's squared across, and it may well be an own goal. Regardless, it is an equaliser. CJ Bott, if it has come off the Kiwi fullback, she had nowhere else for that ricochet to go. And out of nothing, Korea get around the back of New Zealand. Ali Riley went to ground. And uh, whether it is an own goal or whether it is uh, Yuri Choi, but they just went to sleep a little bit here. Dangerous attacking opportunity now. And so Yong Ji has not been able to find a way into the match. Can she do so from the set piece? Now it's off the uh, post. Not that we could tell you much from the footage we were given from the stadium. Look at that one off the crossbar of an elite. Fantastic strike, wasn't it? Dipping here at the last. In that transition, Korea, they're fighting for every last bit of space. And, and, and... Shot goes wide, courtesy of a little touch from Anna Lee. That is a very good save to keep out Hyo Ju Chu. Great save, good eyes here from Anna Lee. You know, I kind of like Katie Bowen as a stopper. What do you think? Yeah, she's a fantastic 1v1 defender. She's really composed technically. She's got good range. Um, so, yeah, I think she's fitting into that back four um, really well. Um, yeah, I think wherever she plays, she's an important part of this team, her experience. And, um... Well, somehow that ball has been ruled to stay in play and they've taken the lead, Korea. I have to say that I, like most of the players, thought that had gone over the byline. But if it has stayed in, New Zealand are guilty here of just going to sleep. And Son Ju Yim has headed home. And it does look to be well and truly in. It was a great cross, wasn't it? And unmarked at the back. Hannah Blake there a little bit too late, maybe. The delivery into the penalty area is cleared away by Korea. Percival wins it. Dangerous area of the park, but not on her favoured side. Whilst you might be down on the scoreboard, you still need to take a little more time on the ball. But that's all the time there is in this one here in Goyang in Korea. And a brave New Zealand performance ultimately is overrun in the second half. They led at half time through Jackie Han's superb first international goal. But uh, Korea came back, they lifted the intensity, equalised with an own goal from Michaela Moore, and then scored the winner, and to be fair, dominated the second half. Korea winning this one over the Football Ferns 2-1.